Hello. Hello, hello. And welcome to another review video. This suit is an old suit from back in 2021. October 6th to be exact. It was a part of the Zakushi's Rock Climbing Challenge. It is called Frothly Made. That's T-H-Y at the end. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and read some quick facts about this suit. So, this suit had three different gachkas based on its rerun. Um, it had two trendy gachka outfit um, gachkas and it had a nostalgic outfit gachka. So I'm gonna read off the trendy names in each gachka pool. So the first pool is gonna be Patty, Monica, Elena, Kokoro, and Luna. The second pool is gonna be Patty, once again, uh, Misaki, Lee Fang, Ayan, and Kana. And with the accompanying Nostalgic outfit is going to include Hitomi, Fiona, Tamaki, and Kasumi. And without further ado, I will go off and read the stats. Also, just as a quick little note, a side note, this uh, gachka was a six step gachka. After you pull six times using free V stones or paid V stones, you get a guaranteed um, SSR with the next 10 pool being paid only which pops up with a little button on the side just in case you don't know um all right so i'm gonna go ahead and read off these stats there's two different versions of the suit this is going to be the one that actually accompanies with a fever skill so that comes for monica and a yen and the trendy and the nostalgic one is going to be hitomi that is accompanied by the fever skill. So this suit had a max skill awakening and um, level 90 is going to provide you with a power rating of 3546, tech rating of 5002, and an STM rating of 4094 with an APL of 200. And it comes with three different skills. And the skills are going to be as followed. Advanced Strategy C, 45% chance when attacking opponent's technique is reduced by 50%. Flashy Technique 4, which is technique plus 10%. And then Sweet Fence. After a successful fence, the full points gain is going to be increased by 30%. This is important because once you win a fence, it goes the points that's acquired after each score is going to be increased by 20% to 30% depending on skill awakening level. All these skills are also governed by this skill level as well. Um, moving on to the regular one that most of the girls have. The regular suit is going to be with Patty, Elena, Kokoro, Luna, Misaki, Lee Fang, and Kana. And the nostalgic version is going to be Fiona, Tamaki, and Kasumi. They're both the same version of the suit, basically from nostalgic into the uh, trendy at the time. Um, anyway, going back to the actual skills of the suit, it's going to be double reverse attack fence speed, which is a 45% chance when attacking that technique is going to increase by 50%. And it's going to be the next skill is going to be Marcus. Stanima E, which is a 55% chance that stamina consumption is going to be reduced by 40%. Now, that's important because when you score, you can reduce your own stamina consumption by 40% at a 55% chance of activation. So, it's important because with, if you're in the middle of a match and it's like four or five rounds in, your girl will probably have more stamina than your opposing team, depending how well the match is going. Um, and the last skill is going to be Flashy Technique 5, which is a technique plus 11%. So, now we know 
what the skills are and the stats. So let's go ahead and actually look at the suit itself. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in a pose. So we don't have to worry about her moving. Because that just makes things a lot easier for me. Now, this suit does not come with any accessories for it right now. You go to a range, it tells you there's any accessories when you're in the outfit selection screen. So, there is none for this suit besides awakening or malfunction and uh, face paint. So, we're gonna go ahead and look at the suit now. As you can see, the texture quality is pretty nice from close up. If you've been looking at a lot of suits I've been reviewing, there is quite a lot of them, even paid suits sometimes, that kind of they skip out on the texture quality. And, and, and just in general, textures on this game should be better. I mean, I don't expect a work of art, but I do expect it to be a bit more sharper in some instances. So you might, when you first look at these from the front, you might mistake these for shorts, but they're actually, this is actually a, a mini skirt. And that is the suit itself. As you can see, it's accompanied by a choker like um, thing here with a little ring with a bell or something like that hanging off of it. I think that's a mug. Then you have the little strap going around the side from there as well. You got the buckles here, company strap. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to Kokoro. Cause I have her in the suit as well. Yeah, she looks good. Like it. And as you can see, this suit do does have wet physics. <laughs> Anyways, I see how the wet physics actually affect the complete suit. As you can see, the sleeves itself is see-through. The actual top is see-through. Don't worry, this is a family channel. Jokes. This, this suit actually has shoes. Which is pretty cool. Not all of them comes with shoes or anything of the sort. And that would be Frosty Made. That is a really weird to say. Um, but uh, yeah, so obviously, physics work. Both sides, everything works as intended. I haven't noticed any clipping when posing with this suit. Um, if there's any, there's probably going to be some with the legs and the fact that it's a skirt. Because I'm noticing even with short skirts that there's some clipping with some outfits. Especially when doing um, poses where the knee is going to be raised or, or something of that nature. Where it could just poke through the thigh, which is weird. Weird looking. But um, that aside, if I was to rate this suit based on looks, it would be a 10 out of 10. I don't know how short the skirt is, but how many villain the top is without showing too much. It's just enough to tease, and that's perfect for a game like this. 
also love the designs on these suits, actually, with the designs and the flowers and the actual aesthetic, the color, colors, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then you got the Venus Vacation logo there, just sets everything up nicely. I wish more suits were more like this. There was some texture decoration that you can kind of notice when up close, but it wasn't horrible. So, probably enough to really not get for that, because it really wasn't bad at all. But, um, the only criticism I really had on the suit was more on the stat size than anything. If I was gonna rate the suit as a whole, all versions of the suit considered, it would probably be a 9.5 out of 10. The advanced strategy, it was it, it just doesn't make sense. I will always say that. Like, I do not like when a power suit or a tech suit goes after your opponent's score rating of the same stat type that your suit is supposed to be strong against. But this makes no sense. Like, I don't like it. Um, but that aside, suit, aesthetics, and everything is pretty good. And that will conclude this video. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment or to just give your criticism of this video. Thank you and have a good one.